Hello, good morning. It's Friday today. It's actually quite late. I'm trying to have really easy late starts on Fridays now. I'm trying to make a new weekly routine for me, which has actual non-working time rather than just it all being a big jumble all in together, you know, trying to have on time and off time. And I'm trying to make Friday mornings up to about 11 off time. So I've been on the sofa just doing language learning, living my best life, drinking coffee. I got up really late at half past nine. So yeah, but it's really weird because I just, I feel guilty. I just agitate the whole time thinking, oh, I should be doing something useful. I just can't seem to program it out of myself. I don't know what's the matter with me. Other people seem to be able to just chill out and um, enjoy it. But anyway, I did quite, I did enjoy it, but I just felt guilty the whole time. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to have breakfast and get dressed now. I've got a gig later. Well, it's a gig lit. It's not a full gig. I've got various uh, admin tasks I need to do today and practice. Just the usual run of the mill stuff, but then in the evening, early evening actually, I'll be off out to do this gig. And I'll see Mick. Mick from my Kaylee band, he's doing the sound system for this thing tonight. He's not calling and it's not a Kaylee. Well, I was about to tell you, I was gonna put it strawberries with my breakfast, but I opened them and they were all gone off apart from these two. My daughter bought them for her sleepover friend who didn't eat them and that was only a couple of days ago and they're all mouldy. Strawberries and banana then. There's my breakfast. I've already started eating it as you see. <laughs> it's half 12, I am getting to it. At last I've been sitting down making my list of to-dos. Oh my goodness. It it looks like a lot, but I think actually a lot of them are quickies. First thing I need to do is put a laundry load on, so that's easy. I've had a couple of gigs cancelled over the next month and the month after, and that is an absolute bummer. A bit short notice. I don't know if we'll fill those now, but anyway, I've been putting sticky paper over all the details in the diary to free up some space in there. That's a bit disappointing, but there we are. Win some, you lose some, don't you? I'm going to have a good summer. Good, that's one thing ticked off the list. What's next? The next thing is pay the band, because I've been paid and now I need to pay the individual members. For a gig we did recently. Well, I made a good start with it. Do you get annoyed when you can't see a task through to completion because you get a little hiccup? I realised that two of them I don't have their bank details for. One of them I'm sure I should have done, but it's not there. And the other one I hadn't played with us before, so. Okay, right. Requests put out for those. <laughs> done the rest. I'm just going to update my spreadsheet, my like income and outgoing spreadsheet, and then I'm going to label my jack lead because I got this black lead. It goes from my little power supply on my belt into the mixing desk. Actually, no, it goes into a DI, but you don't need to worry about that detail. But it's black and it looks very like a lot of other leads. And when I do this particular gig tonight, it ends up not coming home with me because people try and all help to tidy the stuff up because it's quite a community affair tonight. And what ends up happening is my lead just it's not in my bag at the end of the night and I don't know where it is and it comes back to me it's like a homing lead you know eventually a month later it'll come back but anyway I'm gonna just label it now with my name now as in the Welsh now which is at some sort of time unspecified in the future I'll do it now in a minute <laughs> this is very Welsh I think it's Welsh usually if it's in England you say now meaning at some time soon just got a couple of little expenses to put in as well there bus tickets actually to rehearsals tell a lie one's a rehearsal one's a gig oh I do believe that is finished I can hang those out in a minute I feel so much better now I'm cracking on where's that lead here it is I'm going to label it I should just label all my other leads while I'm at it shouldn't I I'm going to get carried away now I have a few. I've even got mosquito spray in that gig bag. See what I mean about it getting out of control? Giant pegs. Well, the thing is, they can be handy, and we have been when we've had a backdrop, or like a sort of a muffling, acoustic -y muffling backdrop. That's really handy for clipping it to the poles. Cut I mean, you've got to take cutlery to gigs because you might get fed but not given cutlery. It happens. When we're given leftovers, honestly, like, there's not enough cutlery because there was only enough for the guests. <laughs> Bug spray, what's in my bag? Lots of earplugs as well. In fact, I think I need to replenish those because I think I've used them up and they've got lost. That's mine as well. That DI is mine. Let's just get labelling. I'm going to go crazy for the labelling. I should have just brought the whole bag, really. <sighs> so kind of going up and down stairs each day today. I have a lot of those, but it keeps me fit, you know. I think I'm going to use this washi tape, write my name on it, and then put sellotape over it to make it more waterproof and durable. There, like that. 
here we are I've done it I actually wrote on that one because I could because it was a different kind of material on that one and uh, done labels for the others so hopefully we don't get any more little mix-ups it's half past one now so I'm gonna pop those back down in the salad and then make myself some lunch I'm just frying up some mushrooms and pepper and I'm going to add some of this rice that's been in the fridge since yesterday it's got peas in it I'll just sort of dishwash out while that's cooking I've been making my daughter toast and almost burning it as well I will not hang the clothes out till after lunch because I don't like the smell of my cooking basically as nice as that smell is you don't really want your cloves to smell of it there's my lunch I've cooked it good and hot and for quite a long time probably more than it needed just because I didn't want to get food poisoning because rice is one of those things isn't it I've heard about salmonella I don't know how true that is but I always err on the side of caution with it so I've had my lunch now very nice it was too and I'm gonna make a coffee now hang my laundry out go do a singing warm-up and I know I should be drinking water not coffee but I'm being naughty and rebellious and having coffee because it's nice then I'm gonna do a little half an hour flute warm-up and then I'm going to regroup and decide what to do after that I need a bath and get changed as well before I go out. Laundry is hung out, coffee is made and I'm going down and I'll see you after I get out of the cellar again. It's 3.20, I'm going at 4.55, I've just packed my gig bag and my flute, my whistle, my folders, a music stand just in case IB doesn't bring my other music stand, I think he will, but we can always do with more at this particular event for other people anyway. So I'm going to go and have a bath now and get dressed. I've laid out my outfit ready to go and I've just realised I've put it in her I'm a little teapot pose, I didn't mean to do that, it's just how it threw it on the bed. <laughs> I need to replace these tights these are just too small they're tight and I know tights are supposed to be tight but they're not supposed to cut off your blood circulation and these I got oh ages ago a couple of years ago maybe and they're just oh the material I don't like it it's really it's it's nylon on the outside and fleece on the inside they're perfectly good I have worn them a lot they're too big they're too baggy I need to charity shop them and them um, and just buy some new but anyway I think I can get away with that colour tonight I'm gonna have my bath now doing a bit of a juggling act with the light here but anyway this is my dress I'm uh, quite pleased with that. That's one of my charity shop finds from Ponce Prieve the other day. I haven't done my hair yet. Yeah, you probably guessed that, I think. Quarter past four now. Do you know, a realisation has struck me. I'm making tea, by the way. I need a cup of tea. I've got half an hour before I have to leave. Now I've got 40 minutes. I'm going to enjoy a lovely cup of tea. And I'm going to make myself a sandwich to take with me. But I had a realisation anyway. You see, you know I said I had a couple of gigs cancelled. Well, I had one cancelled for early April and one cancelled for sort of late March. And I've realised I've got four week break after this one before my next gig all of a sudden I've got a month off gigging <laughs> um, I just came out of the blue I wasn't expecting it but I'm quickly realigning things in my mind I've got lots of things I would like to do with this time of course YouTubing a lot my kettle's about to boil <laughs> yeah, a lot of YouTubering. I really want to start a new online Portuguese course. I've been eyeing one up and I think it's going to be the one for me. But I want to finish Duolingo first, but I have not got too much left of the whole of the Duolingo course in Brazilian Portuguese. And then after that, there's just this daily refresh section, which is just revision. So I'm going to get up to there and then start a different one. But then if I'm on the train or something, I might just do a bit of Duolingo to revise what I've done. I don't know. We'll see how I go with the new one because it might be just, I might be just doing the same content in that anyway. So there's that. I've also... Got a, I just want to get a good working Welsh traditional music repertoire of melodies on the flute but also I want to learn a few more songs as well because I only do one at the moment and it always goes down well so it's time to learn another one of those so excited for that I've still got my daughter at home I don't know how long she's going to be at home for hopefully she will return to uni at the end of the Easter holidays this is plan A we'll see how we go with that oh and puzzle update started this new puzzle well it's not new it's a second hand one it's a 1500 piece and I started doing it on my blue mat and I realized it fits that way but it was too long that way and I just thought there's no way I'm going to be able to do a puzzle with it overlapping off the edges because it's going to just keep breaking so I've had to do it on the table we could be here a while it's a big one so I'm going to have the pressure on me now to chip away at that otherwise when IB comes over he's a man that likes to sit at a table to eat he's he, none of this lap lark with him I just think he's never done it and he doesn't know how he just he's all awkward with his knife and fork and a plate on his lap so oh, I'm going to have to get a move on and finish that puzzle where's that look all tossed aside ought to roll that up neatly really I was just like ah 
Oh, I chucked it up there. I've changed venue. I'm now at the place where we're going to perform and it's light. We can actually see out the window for a change. We've been bringing all the gear in and we're going to set it up. What do you think? Oh, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was about to say, I'm sorry I haven't spoken to you much, but I've been busy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we're all set up, sound checked and starting in 20 minutes or so. People are just slowly filtering into the room and chit-chatting and IB's talking about the set list. But he hasn't changed it yet. We'll try out the stylophone on the audience today. And the good guy went up on the morning train. And I can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Can't help but wonder where I'm bound. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. It's just got the most amazing Please thing. Get this out very often, so uh, I just need to go and film that from the front. It's amazing. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> Hi there, gang. I've been playing around with the arrangement a little bit. See what you think. It's the uh, Sally Gardens. Speak my advice, okay? In a field down by the and it's now finished but well I was busy doing a gig really so yeah a bit awkward to get the camera out anyway yes I'm going very well bye Alan you know, just vlogging randomly should we get Alan are we going to get Alan in just trying to sneak off oh he's gone he's gone no, that's, that's Jim <laughs> having a nice yummy beer and um, yes we need to pack up and go home there's crisp carnage all over the room Hello, it's next day me now, it's Saturday. I decided not to pick the camera up when I got home yesterday because my boyfriend came back and he stayed and he was off early this morning so we had a coffee together this morning so I thought I'd wait till he's gone so I could give him my full attention and now I can give you my full attention. I had a lovely, lovely peaceful day today. I had a day off, it's like a non-vlogging day I suppose today. I've just done my normal stuff, more language learning. I took my daughter out for lunch in the local town which was nice it was short but nice and she's just resting again now i've been editing but anyway thank you so much for watching this video do feel free to give it a like if you liked it if you'd like to watch more videos from me here's a playlist of some of them and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>